2015, the council served notices of investigation on 11 electricity distribution companies in Nigeria. Now, these companies are Kaduna, Abuja, Enugu, Port Harcourt, Yola, Kano, Jos Benin, Ikeja, Eko, and Ibadan. Now, this was sequel to our receiving um, numerous complaints of irregular or crazy billing, suggesting that um, consumers were being exploited in that um, sector. There was also uh, the question of non-availability of meters uh, to consumers who have already paid for them. Now this notice required uh, the companies to attend the council on the 7th of September, I think, and about seven or eight of them did come. Of the 11? Of the 11. Um, they attended the council on its inaugural sitting, but it was not possible to take all of them on that same day, so we had to ask them to come on individual days. Six of them, uh, these are Ikeja, Abuja, Eko, Ibadan, Kaduna, and Port Harcourt, were very cooperative and attended the separate um, interviews and provided us with very useful information uh, that made us understand the challenges uh, that they are facing and that consumers are facing in that sector. The main challenge, as you are all aware, and um, this is actually in the public domain already, is the non-availability of meters, which results in what is called estimated billing. Now, in today's world, this is not very correct because what it means is that your consumption is ed estimated mm -hmm. and you're given a bill on it. Now, if uh, the bill is more than your consumption, what it means is that you are being exploited by the company. And if your bill is less than your consumption, what it means is vice versa, you are you're exploiting, exploiting the company. Uh, the company. Now, this is not very good enough, you know, and so uh, we intend at the end of this investigation to prefer some solution to this problem. Unfortunately, I can't tell you this solution now so as not to prejudice the um, outcome of the investigation. Okay. To answer your question, the interaction with these companies was frank, open, beneficial, to a clear understanding of what the problems in that sector uh, are. I would like to commend uh, those companies for showing a high level of uh, responsibility. Now, for those five that didn't attend, the council has already taken steps uh, to deal with them in accordance with the provisions of the Consumer Protection Council Act for disobeying our summons. Now that there's an attorney general in place, you will soon see the steps in the public domain. Okay. Um, quickly tell us, what is the investigation panel doing at the moment? Because I, I know that you have concluded the investigation. When should we be expecting the report? Yes. The panel is currently reviewing all the evidence that it received. Now, this evidence was in form of testimonies by the, the distribution companies or their officials, if you may say so. Um, there were also documents that they submitted to us, uh, all relating to their interaction with consumers, which is our primary concern. These documents are copious and uh, plenty, and it's taken a while to review them. We have experts who are helping us with this review. Okay. I cannot fathom an accurate guess, but I think that early in the year 2016, we should be able to give you a report. Okay. Thank, you. thank you very much, Mr. Tagaba. It's been nice having you on the program, and thank you for granting us audience. That was the interview with Mr. Atagaba. 
CPC's Director of Legal Services and Chairman of the Council's Investigation Panel on the Activities of the Discos. We'll go on another quick break, and when we return, we'll bring you the other segments on the program. Please don't go away. To make a complaint to the Consumer Protection Council, in order to obtain redress over a product or a service, you contact the seller or service provider and present your query. Ensure you keep relevant records of your conversation. If the problem is not resolved at this level, complain to CPC. Your complaint should be clear, providing relevant facts such as where and when you brought the product or service. You should state clearly what you want from the seller or service provider. Is it a refund, a repair, or a replacement? Complaints should be sent either to the CPC office nearest to you in any of our zonal offices across Nigeria, CPC head office in Abuja, the official email of the council, or by telephone. CPC does not charge fees for complaints. Good morning, Mr. Nzeribe. Could you tell us the story? How, how did you get here? Uh, this television, I bought this television uh, last two years. The television developed fault before the warranty. Then I, I went to the, the service center. They have tried their best and the, the TV is not working. Then I now told them to give me another television since the television is now no more uh, to re repair. They say no, that they cannot change it. Then a friend they directed me to CPC Center, this organization here. Then I came here, they told, they, they ordered a, they order LG to give me another television since they cannot uh, repair the old one yet. They tried their best, they tried their best, they wanted to refuse yet. Uh, CPC insisted that they must change it to me. Then, I'm here now today to, to, to carry the new one that they brought here to me. And the, my own was a 42 inches, but now they gave me 43 inches because they don't have option. So I think for this organization, that we have here in Nigeria. I'm very happy. I'm proud of them. Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed this program. Remember, consumer is king. Because without you, the service providers are out of business. Don't hesitate to come to CPC whenever you feel your rights has been breached. Our contact details are being displayed on your screen. We have eight offices across the nation. Let me take the opportunity to thank all the consumers out there who gave us their feedback. We welcome all your feedback. And if you've gotten redress or benefited from CPC in any way, please contact us so we can bring you on the program to benefit other consumers in similar situations. I'm Florence Abebe, Yoanka. Thank you for being with us.